Hi friends! Today for reading, we will read this question before we get started. This tells us what we need to do today. Our question is, what do we notice about the parts of a personal narrative text? This is a personal narrative text, Whistle for Willie. It's a story that is something that happened to someone. And this is what we will practice with today. But before we do that, we have to learn about the parts. So the first thing you need to do is play this video and listen to the parts that are in a narrative. This video is about the elements of a story. The first element we're going to talk about are the characters. I'll stop it right there. Another word for parts are elements. Elements is just a big fancy word for the different parts. So as you watch this video, you will learn about those story elements. On the next slide here, there's a little bit more about them. You will notice characters. Those are the people, animals, or creatures in a story. You can ask yourself, who is the story about? Once you figure out the who, then you have the characters. As the story starts to take shape, you will notice what's called a plot. The plot is the series of events in the story, or important parts from the beginning, middle, and end. When you ask yourself what happens, then you're starting to figure out the plot. The next thing you'll notice in the narrative is the setting. The setting is where the story takes place and when the story might be taking place. So when you ask yourself when and where, then you're starting to find the setting. So be sure that you watch this video right here to learn about all of those story elements. And then once you do, you can go to this video and we'll practice together with Whistle for Willie. So let's take a look at what that might look like. What do we notice? Whistle for Willie, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. Oh, I'm going to stop right there. The first character we heard about was Peter. This box right here actually makes your screen a little bit bigger, full screen, if you'd like to take a closer look at him. This is Peter right here. And look at these words. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. Hmm. That lets me know right there we have our first character. I asked myself this question. Who is the story about? And right here, we find out it's about Peter. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go to this part of the story. Whenever the so here, I'm noticing, look at this. This is a light post with a, uh, street lights. So I know this isn't usually in our home. That must mean it's happening outside. Let's go to this question right here. Where is the setting? When and where is this happening? So I can see right here, oops, I lost my place. Faster. I can see right here, it's happening outside. As I keep listening to the story, I'll find out what's happening. And I find out that there's a problem. Peter is starting to feel worried because he can't whistle. So that seems like it's part of the plot. The plot is something that's happening in the beginning, the middle, and the end, an important part of the story. If you like, you can click the link and watch the whole video and practice with Whistle for Willie. Or you can go to your very own books in Mayan or books that you might have in your home. And today, you'll look for the characters, the plot, and the setting because we need to ask ourselves, what do we notice about the parts of a personal narrative text? After we notice all of these different parts, our work today is to share that with our families. What do we notice about the parts of a personal narrative text? Go try to do it, and then we'll check in later and see how it went. 